The global market for pharmaceutical products is estimated to be worth over $400 billion and is the leading sector of the air cargo industry. These pharmaceuticals can be very sensitive to temperature spikes and in some cases this can result in a loss of product, the implications being patients' lives and well-being. At Brussels Airport, they've developed a new strategy to deal with this. We decided strategically that it was important that we invested in a integrated process, a cool process, a cool chain process. We started in 2014 with a number of partners, of which Finair Cargo was one of the, the, the most important ones. Finair Cargo is a crucial part of our operations. It's up in our Asian traffic, it's 17% of our turnover. We realized that we need to build a faster transit method. And we went through roughly 20 airports in Central Europe. And at the end, Brussels came out as the best alternative due to its central location uh, in Europe, but also being the pharma hub. The Brussels Airport cargo community and Finnair Cargo were the first to be awarded the IATA CIV certificate, which is rapidly becoming the global industry standard. When we started thinking about a certification program, we spent almost two years talking to the pharma industry, asking about their expectations, their needs and their requirements. And basically that led to the uh, development of the program. So we contacted IATA and they were very interested and they uh, joined us in this effort. And the result is that we have now a standardization of this difficult pharmaceutical handling process, um, which is going globally and which has helped us setting the standard for the industry. The Flanders Pharma Hub project is a collaboration of local uh, partners uh, that are active at the airport to handle cargo. The real ultimate goal of this project is to reduce uh, the variation of, of temperatures while handling the, the products. The forwarders are the architects of the logistics supply chain and as well as the management of documentation, customs clearance and dangerous goods declaration, they're responsible for controlling the cool chain process. The forwarder hands over the freight to the handling agent, who then prepares it for transport on tarmac onto the aircraft. It's a delicate operation which requires a specialised setup with separate infrastructure, trained personnel and procedures. At Brussels Airport, all handling agents have invested in these specific capabilities. Uh, this is a full temp control warehouse. It means it's uh, full 15, 25 degrees. Uh, we have a separate zone with uh, two to eight uh, shipments. This is the acceptance zone here. Then uh, we're putting the freight on the transit zone for leaving. It's arrived like this. And then uh, the customer asks us to do the repack. Okay. So it means we have to use blanket, one type of blanket. And then that is the final, the final result. So this is one of the other types of packaging you have available? Yes, it's a cover you're putting over the pallets, so you can send it loose like this, but you can send it also consolidated on a, on a ULD. Okay, as you can see, so uh, here we have our two to eight room. It's also coming out of the truck with a, a cool truck on four or five degrees. It's docking and it's going directly into this fridge. And it's only moving the last minute. The prepared pallets are then quickly transferred to waiting dollies and transported to the aircraft for loading. This is the critical stage for potential temperature variations. Effective processing of temperature sensitive shipments requires the airline to receive advanced detailed information about the different products being shipped. This data is recorded at the point of booking using IATA three letter codes, thereby ensuring the protection of these sensitive items from manufacturer through to destination airport. Airlines and handling agents involved in the air carriage must be able to give a good information. What are the handling conditions during the transport? What are the temperatures at tarmac, uh, in the cargo terminals, and even during the flight? In the future, we are going to have a new cargo terminal where the temperatures are readily available for the shipper through the internet. The transport of the shipment from the warehouse to the aircraft is done by the handling agent. This is one of the most sensitive steps in the process where the products are potentially exposed to extreme temperature spikes, either warm or cold depending on the season or the climate at the airport. Although we're in a very moderate climate zone here in Brussels, pharma manufacturers have requested us to develop a solution for the 
the, the critical transport on air side. We have developed a passive cool dolly, uh, which basically takes out the extreme temperatures. And as a result, we can offer a temperature controlled transport uh, all the way from arrival at the airport, all the way up to the aircraft at Brussels airport. So we're also looking at what can we do more to create consistency and transparency. And one of the things we are now developing is a quality dashboard that will allow shippers, forwarders, airlines, but also handlers to have real time, uh, a real time overview of all the pharma shipments going around at the airport and what is their status, what has been the different quality checks on it. This will allow us not only to create a transparent uh, overview of Brussels airport and the shipments, but it will also allow to improve the quality. Uh, there too we will invest and continue to invest in the development of the pharmaceuticals product uh, at Brussels airport. And there are a number of initiatives that we have taken. At Brussels, one of the projects we are doing is indeed creating a cargo community platform. It's a cloud-based system that will allow us to, to easily link all kinds of data and all kinds of devices to that cloud. And we want to make sure that we, as the preferred European gateway for pharma, are always in the lead and at the forefront of these evolutions. We need to improve the quality of the shipment deliveries in all touch points, including the transit hubs. Um, and we as Finair Cargo, together with Brussels Airport, are positioned well in order to meet that next level challenge. We are very grateful that Finair made the choice uh, to develop their hub, their pharma hub here at Brussels Airport. Huh? So we are open to any expansion or any further integration of our collaboration efforts with them. Of course, there are other uh, partners and other airlines and other players in the market that we want us to join. The more robust the platform is, the better it will be and the better our reputation and our image in the uh, pharmaceuticals industry will become. What we've seen here is the successful collaboration between two partners, Finnair Cargo and Brussels Airport. They've created a landmark quality innovation for pharma handling and transport. With the use of new technology and a new culture of cooperation and transparency, it means a bright future for all cool chain partners involved. Thank you.